Ask Shrimpita. That's me. Hey, Emily. Yeah? How do you make a tissue dance? I don't know how. Put a little boogie in it. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for being here so Emily and I can answer all of your questions about Jesus and the Bible. That's right, Shrimpita. Today we're talking about the time the Egyptians chased the Israelites to the Red Sea. Let's get to those questions. How did God make the river dry? Were the Israelites scared when they were chased to the Red Sea? Hmm, great questions. But you know, if I was being chased by the Egyptians and I was stuck at the shore of the Red Sea, I would be really scared. And then I would remember that I'm a shrimp and I would jump right in. <laughs> Well, I'm glad to hear that, Shrimpita, but the Israelites were people, not shrimp. So there was no possible way they could swim through. Ah, yes. It is good to be me. <laughs> Anyways, when the people got to the Red Sea, they felt trapped and scared. They told Moses they'd rather go back and be slaves in Egypt because they thought they were going to die. See, they had stopped trusting God to take care of them. But Moses told the people that God would make a way, and he was right. God told Moses to reach out his staff, and when he did, a path dried up right in the center of the Red Sea. They walked through it safely and got away from the Egyptians. What was in that staff? It was just a normal stick, Shrimpita. God can use anything he wants to make a way for us. He just wants us to trust him to do something that we can't do on our own. Wow. Let me see if I understand what I'm understanding. No matter what we face, we can ask God for help. That's right, Shrimpita. Well, trusting in God sounds like a plan to me. See you next time. I wonder if God could give me a staff to help me clean up my room. Well, a staff looks an awful lot like a broom, Shimpita. I bet you already have one. I don't like where you are going with this. <laughs> <laughs>